Wow, it looks like we've got a lot done since the last time I was here. What have you done? Well, I've been fitting the body panels and putting everything in primer. Yeah. Let me see the front. Wow, ready for headlights. What is this? That, that scoop. Well, actually, starting with the front end. Starting with the front end. These scoops down here. Black. Uh huh. Well, actually, funnel air. through there and cool the front brakes. Wow. Huh. So there's like a hose attached to that, that v opening? Yes. Wow. And on the front here, air coming in through these will actually go back through tunnels the lead to the radiator on this side and the intercooler for the turbocharger on this side. So these right here yes. go to there? Yes. Huh. As a matter of fact, this is more than just a filler panel. It's actually an airfoil. That creates downforce. Oh yeah? As the air rushes through there. Okay. And you can see with this off, the duct work is so that works as a it creates downforce? Yes, the air is rushing through here because of the shape of it. It will actually create downforce on the front end of the car. Huh. That's pretty interesting. These louvers actually keep air from being trapped inside the wheel well. Okay. Okay. So what does that do? Well, what, the, why is it good to let the air escape rather than uh, be trapped in the wheel well? Well, if these weren't there, the air would be trapped in here and that would create lift. Oh, okay. And that's something you don't want. Right. Uh, inside the door. Wow. This is part of the duct work. Okay. Huh. And that goes, okay, that, yeah, that goes to the front of the car. Yes. That is this right here. Let me see. Okay. So then that goes to the door. Yeah. Is there a hole in the door? Yes. Right there. Oh. Wow. Huh. From there, <laughs> the air goes through here. It goes through here. To the intercooler. To the intercooler. Wow. Notice I've got the hoses for the intercooler, how they're going to be run, but my exhaust system is still out being coated. Okay. So what does the ceramic coating do? It uh, gives it a protective coating to keep it from rusting. It also makes the exhaust run cooler. Okay. And it just gives it a nice looking finish. Yeah. Where's the exhaust going to go? 
Where is it going to exit the car? Or? Yeah. Like, where is it? Uh, right out here. Okay. Just could be one single three inch pipe. Okay. All right. Everything's coming along. This is really exciting. Who's going to be the first person you take for a ride? You. Of course. <laughs> second person to ever drive it. Me. <laughs> car creates an extremely large amount of downforce. Yeah. If the... uh, it was possible to drive this thing through a tunnel, you could actually drive it on the ceiling upside down. Duh! Because there is that much downforce. Really? Yes. You want to try it? What? You want to try that? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no. I say we try it. Okay. Well, you find me a tunnel. Okay. That would be at speed. Uh, the numbers that I'd heard were uh, around 9,000 pounds of downforce at 200 miles an hour. Okay. I don't know what that means. That means it's 9,000 pounds. Pushing the car down. Pushing this thing down on oh, the ground. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. So this is primed and ready to get painted, it looks like. It's getting close. Tell you what, it's starting to look like a real car. So this side goes, all that air, it goes to the radiator? Yes. Okay. And then is that the rear clip? Yes. And then as soon as you get your exhaust, you'd be able to prime that and get that on here and the car would be basically all together. Ready to go to print, ready to go to paint. Yes. She's coming along. Yep. This is really coming along. Wow. Who would have known that all of those openings had a purpose? Okay, this top one. Yeah, I was just about to ask that one. Uh, will be an oil cooler. Mounted here. Okay. And that'll just be cool the oil in the oil cooler. Huh. Nice. Go ahead and open that door again. What made you choose to have uh, doors that open like that? Well, this is just how the original race car was. Oh. Makes it easier to get in and out. Yeah. If there is a way to get, easy way to get in and out of this car. But yeah, the, 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 it's a little bit of a struggle, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> huh. Wow. So 9,000 pounds of downforce. That's pretty awesome. And they did it by adding a minimum of drag to the, to the body. What's that mean? That means they didn't have to sacrifice speed to get the downforce. Oh. The body was very efficient. It's probably one of the reasons why the car did as well as it did. Yeah. Winning nine races, eight races in a row uh, in 1988, then 89 won 10 races. Wow. Yeah. Out of how many cars? I don't know. Hmm. All that matters is that it won though, right? Yeah. Okay. What's that thing behind you? This? No, the red thing. 
Oh, it's a rear clip. Nope, the red thing. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, this is uh. That looks like something I saw in a movie recently. Yeah. This is a replica of a Ford GT40. Oh, Ford versus Ferrari. Yes. This was basically state of the art in 1966. Okay. This state of the art in 1988. <laughs> That's how much things changed in 20 some years. Huh. So this is a GT40 replica. Yeah. This is what Ford answered to Ferrari with. Right. Uh, Let me see the front of it. After Enzo backed out of the deal. Ford decided to build their own cars and beat Ferrari at Le Mans, which this car won Le Mans four years in a row. Yeah? That's one heck of a movie, too. <laughs> Entertaining. <laughs> in your eyes, do you think they got the movie right? Oh. It was a movie. Right, I know. Um, they took liberties. Yeah, okay. Right. An entertaining movie. So, this thing could beat a Ferrari, right? Well, it did back in 1966. Okay. Put these two next to each other. What do you think the outcome would be? The real cars? Yes. Oh, this is much faster. Much faster? Yes. Okay. Just because of evolution, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you know you don't think that size plays a key in racing? Size? Size, yeah. Like that thing's little. Yeah, it's not little, but this is a big wide GTP. Well, that big, Nissan. wide shape created downforce. Okay. And the downforce made the car stick to the road better and brake better. Yeah. Basically, it made it faster. Okay. Well, can't argue with that. This is going to be a head turner for sure. Looks great. So what would you say is the major component to giving it the 900 or wait 9000 pounds of downforce which which one uh, probably the wings on the rear oh oh we okay we haven't seen that yet no uh, i've got them made but they're not painted or on there yet okay i honestly don't know how much downforce this created there was also, on the original race car, little wings that went here <laughs> to create downforce. Okay. Uh, I probably won't put them on this car. Okay. Little wings? Even the shape of the, the bottom of the car created downforce. Okay, so this whole car was just designed to have as much downforce as possible. Exactly. What would be another car similar to the downforce? Like, what would be a similar car that would produce that much downforce as this one? Uh, what, the, the Corvette GTP. Oh, okay, yeah. So one of yours? Raced against, you know, this car. Uh-huh. Uh, Wait, it did? Yeah. They were in the same series. Oh, Okay. Like the original ones? Yeah, the original cars. Okay, okay. Uh, the Corvette achieved 3,600 pounds of downforce at 200 miles an hour. 
Okay. And then this one does 9,000? Yes. Okay, so this is the Big Daddy version of the Corvette GTP. Uh, it was a more efficient. It was the Big Daddy. It's the Big Daddy. Okay, the Big Daddy. You okay? There. <laughs> I don't know what the uh, specs were for the Porsches and uh, the Jaguars. Okay. But, uh, I believe this was probably probably had the most downforce of any of those cars. Okay. So if you were to take this thing and race it against a GTP, what do you think the outcome would be? Corvette GTP. Well. And have you thought about doing that? Against the real corner? No, no. Mine? Yes. Oh. Well, this would be faster. It would, oh. Um, we should see if we could borrow one for the day. This has a smaller engine. Than what I put in the Corvette GTP, uh -huh. but it's going to have more horsepower because it's turbocharged. Okay. Yes, I think we should borrow the G the Corvette GTP for the day and take these racing, and let's just see. I will not be driving. I will not be driving though. <laughs> well, it might be fun to go to like Middle Ohio or Nelson's Ledges and take both of the cars mm -hmm. and have Aaron drive them and see which one goes the fastest. You hear that, Aaron? Is that something you'd be up to, bud? Oh, she's a beauty. I mean, it, it, this car, it just, it's, it's amazing. I cannot wait to see it once it's fully painted and ready to go.